Uh, good morning, everybody. It's uh, KC732 uh, coming up with your uh, hot fix tutorial this morning. Uh, it's like 4.30 this morning. I got up. Well, I slept out yesterday and I got up and I said, uh, instead of uh, telling you guys uh, on the forums uh, how to do the quick fix uh, for the quick drive, since uh, the quick drive is not working for everybody, so I said I'm going to make a video this morning and show you guys how to fix that um so to everybody i know um that's not getting it please just pay attention to this video and uh if you pay attention and to detail and all that this will fix your problem um uh but this is for the kcs shreveport subdivision um right i just uh released uh it's not finished yet um in the future, I have plans of uh, putting new locations and uh, stuff like that with quick, quick Drive. It was just something that was just a spare moment so quick. So when I released it, I already made the Quick Drive. Um, and uh, that's probably why it's the way it is right now. It's messed up because uh, I didn't test it as far as what it was because I don't usually play Quick on or with, with Quick Drive. I usually do free roam. So I can be free at Rome and do uh, play with my trains how I want to on the street port. So, but uh, this is a quick fix, and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it. So um, let's jump straight to it. Uh, what you'll do is go to build, uh, go to scenarios uh, like where I'm at right now, and find the street port subdivision, um, and look for the quick drive scenario. It says quick drive scenario. Click on the quick drive and go click edit. Okay, once uh in the scenario, you notice you will start in the heaving the yard. Uh, you will go um to the yard office, which is where the quick drive starts at, and you will see this little pyramid diamond looking thing right here triangle shaped looking thing you click on it and once you click on it um this arrow will pop up and as everybody's having a problem it's because you see the arrow on the track is facing north that way so what you would do is click on it you move the arrow you can move how far you want to but holding the left shift down so while you have that um, clicked on, holding the left shift, uh, well, holding the mouse click down, I'm sorry, um, you hold it down with the mouse click, um, you can move it. Um, but press left shift. If you press left shift and move it, it faces south. Let go of the mouse and left shift, and it'll face south. And once you've done that, um, you can just save it, save it, then exit the editor, and then you'll be in the scenario quick drive or nothing, but then you go out, <coughs> exit the game, <coughs> and go to quick drive. Um, say I already have one, uh, heating the yard office, let's say we'll go to... Uh, um, North Shreveport, um, just you got a day on it, um, you got it all, just click start with your train or whatever you're going to play with, and so, um, show you how that works. Now, you see, now your train is facing south, go south. See the end of the train will be right here. Okay. That's where you're trying to be. Okay. We'll exit out there. Let me show you another quick fix. This is the best way to um, fix that so the end of the train won't start at the yard office. Um, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna show you how to move uh, 
that quick drive start point and you can make your train just as long as you want. So we'll go back. Let's go back into build. Uh, back into the quick drive scenario. Uh, edit. Lag. I don't know why it's lagging. Okay. Now, go back to our start point where we was. Okay. Click on your quick drive. And it'll face that way. Move the arrow. On down the track, way let's go way down here. Say, uh, we'll go, uh, let's do an end point. Say, we'll start it all the way down here. Say, your end point is right here, okay. Back. Let's go back. Grab this. Let's move it on down here. Okay, now this uh, we put our quick drive start point right here, because this is where the end of the train will will be at. So this is determine the length on the train that you're driving. And like I said in the first when we open at first, you click on this, move it, hit left shift, and let go of the mouse, and let go of shift, and it'll face that way, and you save it, then go back and. Restore. All right. Exit that. Go back to quick drive and say our scrap train we had. Oh, uh, let's just go try something else. Let's try. Um, let's try. Um, let's try something real long. Um, say a uh, Canadian Pacific. Um, 150 stacks. Let's try that. Click start. Okay, you see, train still facing south. Kind of let uh, some of my scenery load in. But as you can see, move out. Okay. And see your end of train is at the end of the quick drive start point. It starts it. Face the south, and you can go south. So I hope, um, I hope y'all paid attention to that, and I hope this uh, fixes everybody's problem to to people that don't understand how um, to develop um, scenarios or stuff like that in Train Simulator Classic or you know whatever version you play with. And I hope this fixes everything for you. So um. Mm. See y'all on next round.